Can you wait until we click record to be a drunken mess? Honestly, it's just so unprofessional of you. I can't breathe. Like, to be fair, as an intro, this really fucking starts. This really takes the, the biscuit. <sighs> it burns. It burns so fucking much. <coughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> That would have been brilliant to be like the actual like opening. The actual opening to that. It's like, <laughs> brr. Oh, that's a bit better now. Yeah. Jesus, what's going on? Like, it actually, it's like, it hits my nose. Right. Are we ready? Are we ready? I don't know why I'm asking the views already. It's all about me. Yes. Yes. This guys. is your gimmick. Like, you, you, guys, guys, guys. It's a weekend at Amy's. It's been so long. It has, to be since fair. Since we've yes. done the weekend at Amy's. Mm. Like, I'm not complaining. Well, I am. Sort of. I'm not. You can, play, you can blame uh, lockdown for that. Blame it or thank it. Whichever. Either way. Yeah. Okay, so... I remember when we first started doing weekend at Amy's, I was... I, I planned on being a tyrant and just, like, doing my own movies and not giving the guys really any kind of say in anything that we did or, or watched. And then I very quickly decided that wasn't going to be a good idea yes. because I wanted you to actually watch the movies that I picked <laughs> so the guys got each got a free one um, so this is their first free free watches and um, this 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 week's episode and whatever the next time I don't know when the fuck these are going to come out yeah well hopefully it'll be this coming Friday so it'll be Friday or, or Friday Friday is Friday okay so the weekend viewing there we yes. go okay so this is going to be the weekend oh it's because yeah we haven't fucking being able to see each other that's why that's oh my god yeah okay so this actually was meant to be a weekly monthly whatever anyway weekend weekly thing yeah, yes the idea, the idea is it'll be like a bi-weekly thing to stretch them out yeah okay so this uh this first one that we're watching is um it's actually foxy's pick so we're gonna be watching kung pao now i've had this downloaded for over for well over a year mm -hmm. and i still never watched it yeah yes Has, have you ever seen it i have uh been recommended it but I've held off on it. I've until. seen one scene of it. Mm. That's all I've seen of this movie. Okay. It's a cow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say any more. Like I'm that. not gonna say any more on it. Like I do love the Dalmatian cows. I can never remember the real Fusions. name. Of it. That's the one. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone knows I don't remember when I say it, a Dalmatian cow. I think cow. it's the third time I've corrected you on that. <laughs> do you know what? My dad corrects me on a daily basis when I talk about them. Um, but yeah, so th this is actually Foxy's pick. So for this weekend at Amy's, uh, we will be watching Kung Pao. Two of us are going in blind. One of us is not. So if the movie's shit, we're blaming him. Yeah, it's all Foxy's fault. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I have, like a lot of people have told me to watch this movie. They said it's really funny. So mm -hmm. I've, got, I've got the same, rec same recommendation. I mean, 30 to 50 people can't be wrong. I don't know 30 to 50 people. I'm just estimating. Probably like three. <laughs> Catch, and the catchment area alone, you know, the math says it's about 30 to 50. Like two four farmers. Yes. Like, quick maths. Oh, you're so close. Fast. Two plus two is 22. Ooh. <laughs> right. Two is That's what's I can see why this show is so popular. <laughs> right. So. Um, I'm ready. I'm, I'm. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm really ready. Have you got, have you got enough sugar in there to do you for the... No. Get, get the pigs out. <laughs> <laughs> They're already out. Fucking Christ. They're very, they're very much alright. Get your pigs out, get your pigs out, get your pigs out for the lads! Uh, I'm trying to You really actually can't get your pigs out for the lads. Your pigs are you're refusing to come out for the lads. And boy, is that a fucking wonderful <laughs> thumbnail. Look at that, that is beautiful, that is. <laughs> Holy Someone shit. Someone open this fucking bag of purses. No, I mean, this is a personal journey you're going on. It's like fucking King Arthur's sword here. Yeah, I'm off to find Excalibur. I found it. Right, I got my pigs out, and you now because of you being, oh, these are fizzy shoes. Right, John, you know I just played a goddamn movie. You sure? Yeah. Oh, I was actually enjoying that bit. Fizzy. Oh my god, that's sour. Hey. That's very sour. sour. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, no. Hey, what the fuck just Can happened? I, I think he just stole his heart. <laughs> <laughs> Your soul is mine. <laughs> Yeah, so my dad uh, went to the Shadow Realm before I was born. <laughs> 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 I've got better. 
Oh man, that, his hairline is not convincing at all. <laughs> you can't talk about Fucking hairlines. Fucking hell. You have yeah, no I, right. I, I'm not hiding it, is the, di the difference. <laughs> you better say it's the dick. And then fucking curtains over here. Hey, that was very popular in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> you can clearly see that it's shaven. Yeah. <laughs> that is a very nice dagger. It is a nice dagger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't think I'm gonna like this movie. Shut your, your mind off. Sorry, I know. <laughs> I know. I joked and said this is John Claude Van Damme's origin story. It's actually Chuck Norris's. <laughs> <laughs> Kill it. Oh, that was like highly entertaining and disturbing all at the all same, same time. time. Dancing Baby first came out. <laughs> yeah, Annie McBeal was the first one on that. <laughs> oh my god. This is like. Uh, <laughs> Imagine being a serious martial artist and this is the movie that they put you in. Yeah. You're, you're questioning your, all of your life choices at that time, <laughs> So you're saying that the baby is going to piss in my face? And the baby's going to beat me. Yeah. yeah the, I baby, resign. the baby that can't hold up its own head. Yeah, yeah. I, I resign. I resign. Okay. And this is how I deal with spiders. Yeah. Kill it with fire. <laughs> this is how I deal with babies. <laughs> Kill it with fire. Particularly one that no kung fu. <laughs> it's probably the best for the world. I, I love that. I love, I, I love that literally the starting was right. I'm getting my ass kicked Hold on. <laughs> Wrapped in a blanket, the baby was able to throw itself out of the window. He himself out of the he window. He yeeted his shit out yeah. of the window. And now he's crawling to... Oh, that is actually fucking terrifying. <laughs> this now. So cute. <laughs> so cute. So bruised. <laughs> oh, social services find you in these bruises. I don't think so. I don't think so. you to reconsider. Okay. Got the clip. His name is Master Pain. He has great powers and is well protected by the evil. Have they just green screened the moth? I think the moth is no. Have they? Motherfuckers. Amazing. Now I can see the king out of their flap. Look at it. Then you would Apologize for Wimp Low. 
He is an idiot. We have purposely trained him wrong. As a joke. <laughs> Even the bark is out of sync. What in God's name wow. is that thing? <laughs> he seems to be the reason I'm pursued. There are so many things I've yet to understand. Does it have a name? Tungy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's okay, This it's is sorry. a glorious day. For the Chosen One has come to free us from the evil council. I remember a long time ago. When a good friend of mine told me there would be a chosen one. I'm so excited. This is a flashback. Of course it's a flashback. <laughs> there will be a chosen one. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. That's actually Osprey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say, Osprey's gonna have to be like, why can't I do that? Why can't I do that? Osprey, Osprey washed it and broke his neck. Oh shit, he's spliced his. Fi oh wow, that's fucking weird. He green screened his really face. Nipples. And who do you rule? The large, dark nipple people? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, sir. So, know, you're, sir. You're, you're on the same wavelength as yeah. Steve here now. <laughs> Why did I laugh like him? <laughs> Maybe you're the one with the weird dark nipples. <laughs> no, they're normal. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, there's no explanation for that one. Brilliant. Oh my god. Leave that one. Now then, Master Payne is the rumor that the chosen one was. Looks so old. Actually, do you know what he looks like? Um, fucking top. Peel. <laughs> Jordan me. Peel. <laughs> do what he says, or you cut off the toe. Donkey teeth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Aaron. Hey, <laughs> God. Homeschooled. Does he remember him as a baby? Baby. He remembers him from his head. I've, I've Look at him. Look at him and tell me he is not Jordan Peele. <laughs> Many have said Look at him and tell me he is not Jordan Peele. In the theories of me not being a racist, he is not Jordan Peele. What I'm doing in this movie. Avoid the meadow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is probably the movie I have seen. <laughs> Brilliant. A CGI cow. Fucking excellent. A <laughs> Dalmatian cow. Frisian. Dalmatian. I think all the Dalmatian cats is better. He's fighting like a Dalmatian. <laughs> that was <laughs> 
<laughs> and it was flexible as fuck. Yeah. This is actually like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Also, in my research, <laughs> I say research, um, so Steve here, mm -hmm. he directed Barnyard. <laughs> <laughs> and he wrote and now produced, it, and he wrote and produced it. So I mean, this makes so much more Now sense. it all makes yeah. sense. <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting that bird to just kick off. <laughs> don't pass her as you pervert. Oh shit, yep. Oh my Go god. for it, he's going for it. Oh my god! That man has a family! My god! My god! <laughs> <laughs> that chicks on him for by injury, insult to injury. He milks on him. To be fair, if you're a fighting cow, the others are a weakness. Like, you should be doing something to protect that. I mean, I guess so. We can turn a negative into a positive. <laughs> this is an actual movie. Yes. <laughs> that's like that's amazing. Just bear in mind, someone had to like do the stage directions for this. Someone wrote this scene out. I'm pretty sure he did. <laughs> it's like it's naked gun without being naked. Yeah, gun. that's it. Yeah. We have the puns. Yeah. Yeah. What tit was in one scene? Does <laughs> one tit make a comeback? No. no bullshit. No, you can't oh, just fuck. turn away. <laughs> like this is actually. Oh, fuck right off. It's okay, boy. Oh. <laughs> fuck <laughs> this. Maybe this goes back. As a, as, an, as a dumb dead scene, that's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> I only did this. <laughs> that doesn't mean a person is dead. Chosen? Huh? <laughs> Wait, does this mean the dog's not dead? <laughs> They're all play acting. Chosen one, why did you run off? But, I thought... Huh? Yes. Yay! <laughs> okay. I love that this is who he's most excited to see as the dog. If you're all alive, then surely we're blow. A wimp! Okay, that's... Betty has gone too far. That's actually Killing pretty... That strong. was good. That was, that was well done. There should be a new stronger word for killing, <coughs> like Badron or Badong. <laughs> Thank you, squirrel friend. What the fuck? Your soft, cushy body helped absorb the force of your blood. <laughs> now, for my sake, he uses squirrels as body armor. What the? Fuck? Oh, what? He's the gonna bring him back fuck? to life. Sorry, I have a few questions about the squirrel. Um, Just a few? A lot. I have a few more questions. That's what he thought. The freeze frame as well. Oh. I don't know what the fuck we watched. <coughs> Sorry. I just, all I know is that it was so funny. Good. Yeah. Diddling, 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 diddling. Hi, welcome back to Weekend at Amy's. <laughs> we are here. We're still here. We, me and Foxy did actually get the chance to leave, change our clothes, and then we came back. Yes. Um, no. Yeah, it's been... I mean, we were held captive for, for three weeks. <sighs> three weeks, man. 
<laughs> Mistakes were made. Times were tough. Dogs have been removed. Yes. Um, so this is a little bit different. It is. Yeah. I'm afraid. So YouTuber wankers. Um, <laughs> and unfortunately, we can't update. We can't upload the our, our full kind of like watch along of for Kung Pao because. It's actually one of the better movies that we've had that it, it gets flagged on cop on a copyright claim. Yes. We've Unlike the- No Holes Bird, which <laughs> went through with flying no colours. One, no one was contesting that. Actually, yeah. I think someone went, holy shit, you are actually watching this. Yeah. And they just let it go through. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're, we're, we're just going to give you a quick review of yes. Kung Pao. This is kind of what we're doing now with the series. Instead of like, to avoid the censors, we're actually just going to do film reviews yeah. on the spot. That film reviews are popular on YouTube. Just in general. Me. Yeah. Um, Kung Pao though, I have to. Okay, so this was this was Foxy's this was Foxy's pick on this one, and mm. Foxy picked one hell of a fucking movie. It was excellent. Okay, so if we're like, it is. It's basically it is a kung fu a kung fu. It's, kung, a, it's, it's a kung, kung fu. It's a <laughs> that is a Freudian slip if I've ever heard it. <laughs> I was actually thinking of kung pao. Yes. As in like the kung pao chicken or kung pao beef. That's why I was like that can't be right. And then I was like thinking I wanted to say kung fu. Yes. That's another thing as well. It's a kung fu comedy. Really. Yeah. Like when, when we it's put a massive it. spoof. Oh, the best kind of spoof. Yes, the 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 best of the best, and this is like so. Then okay, so. I, I've only ever seen it once, so you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, mm. right? So it's basically an American Steve. Steve Alderkirk. Yeah. yeah. He's the director of Ace Ventura. And yeah, he decided to. Uh, as a love of like old Chinese like, martial arts movies, to actually take the piss out of the bad dubbing that's done in those films. But, by doing it himself. Yeah. So, but isn't it in the sense of he actually dubs himself into the into he, a movie? He self inserts. Yeah. He self inserts himself into certain like in, into the scenes, but he also dubs over himself. Yeah. It, it is beautiful. It is. It is one of those scenes where you're like, this should not be a movie that works, but it works yeah. so fucking well. Um like it's I mean there's one or two scenes in it where you're kinda like oh shit really mm-hmm. is this what we're going with and then also as we're watching it we were trying to think okay who the original um, hero was yes. in the movie as well like as you're watching we figured out very quickly who it was yeah you can kind of tell because like as is often the case the hero is always like coloured differently to the exactly to the rest it, of the chap it, just, like. it works out well but like from like the, from the opening scenes like considering that we're not really sure what we're getting into on this one mm. so from the opening scenes of this movie I don't we're, I think maybe probably best to keep us spoiler free well, like, like you said, like, like for this movie in particular, yeah, only because I actually recommend that you go and watch. Oh, definitely, it. like like we. So I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. like from the opening scenes, you're literally going to go. And, <laughs> what the that, fuck? If you I ever want a see. movie to set its stall out, yes, yeah, the opening scenes of this movie, like the first like 10, 15 minutes of this, like the entire intro that you get onto it, of the chosen one, absolutely is brilliant. Just, so amazingly well done. It's it's one of those things where you're like, Do you know what? I'm actually I'm well into this. Yeah. So, uh, going on then forward and into into this kind of movie, then you're kind of hitting in. So we we've seen him grow up. Yes. Um, to this American. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know he's the chosen one. He's Western. Yeah. <laughs> in a movie full of Chinese. Yeah. We have one one American um, on this one. So kind of like building up onto this one to kind of find his path in life as 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 the chosen one. Yes. Um, Foxy, why, why was this your pick? Because I, I just like we were trying to, okay, we were trying to figure out like a, a good choice because hmm. you had been picking the movies and we finally had a chance. And uh, <laughs> again, it's Amy's not, a benevolent dictator. It's not a dictatorship; it is a democracy. But I will overrule you if I see fit. Yeah. Especially after No Holds Barred. But uh, with the chance that I took, I, I just I was trying to rack my brain about like different films that we could possibly watch. Yes. That, uh, right, either we've watched it or none of you have watched it and I'm trying to introduce you to it. Mm. This was my pick because when I first watched it, I was like yourself, I was pissing myself laughing with because the jokes are so rapid fire. Yeah. 
It's mm-hmm. so rapid fire that like you miss them on your first watch. Yeah, you, ha- you actually have to go. You have. To, this is a movie where you will have to go back to watch it. Yes. Just to see. It's always the same missing because we were like riffing over it as well. So this like half the stuff that we would have missed even. On oh our yeah, first we though. like there was a lot of stuff actually that we missed. Yeah. In it to begin with, and to go back on to over to. So like I'd never seen it before, and Jonathan never seen it before, mm. and I think you can kind of had you actually been able to see the watch along for it, you would have seen. Just the pure genuine reaction. I might be able to smuggle some clips in. Yeah, as as as, as, the kind we'll of, as to what was actually going on. Genuine joy. Yes. Oh, pure joy. I thought I thought I knew joy when I saw Foxy watching the Boondock Saints for the first time. Yes. When you introduce someone to that movie. Oh yeah. It's the, it's a beautiful moment. It of, is. of their it realization is. of what this is. But for Kung Pao was one of those ones. It's like it properly brought us all together in a sense of. This is some fucking funny shit. Yeah. It's a nice reversal of the situation in that regards. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but the the best thing about it is like it, it takes the approach of like the naked gun. Yes. Where like like the the way the Zucker brothers used to do their movies is like there's not a scene wasted. If there is space for a gag in there's the shot, they'll put it. the gag in there, and that's what Kung Pao did. Like it it, it loans that, but it also does it so well because you can clearly see like Odenkirk and uh, and everyone around it. They love those kung fu movies. They love the the style they love all the sort of like the the, the dignity in the normal like dignity in the movies which is why they did absolutely everything to fucking ruin it because yeah. that was their tribute to it you know so literally it was like the fucking the, the tongue with the face on it all this sort of like oh, weird God shit God. like you know but but like but you know in the same but again in those martial arts movies the, the hero is, a, is there for a reason he's got the a cow. secret technique the cow yeah he, like they've got a secret technique so like okay let's make the worst possible secret technique the tongue goes ah I was like, that's a, I guess that's a secret technique. No one else can claim to have that, can they? I think that was actually is about the, my favorite thing about that entire thing was when that actually did happen. Yeah. We actually were all just in, well, not you because you knew what was he going. Saw it whereas coming. me and me and Jonathan were like, huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> and it was that it was that moment of realization of just everything just kind of went quiet, but yeah. I could hear his foxy. <laughs> it's just that it's a human head tilt, like, like huh? huh? What's this? What's this? I don't understand. And then it moves on to the next joke. Yeah. And then you're you're back to kind of. Oh, it doesn't yeah. wait for you to laugh. Like, no, it just it keeps. Yeah, it just it powers just through. Goes through the whole thing. Yeah. Um, I like for like in these types of movies, like uh, you kind of like for like when it comes like to airplane and the naked gun type thing, mm. and, like it is like you know it's it's a genuine kind of piss take on this one. The thing I do actually like about the Kung Pao though as well on it is like while it is a piss take it does take itself a bit seriously as well in places yeah. yeah yeah. like it knows like when to like we can make a joke about X, Y and Z but I'll, I'll, we'll play this part straight mm. and you can see that especially when like you mentioned I actually used the director for Ace Ventura mm. it's the same kind of approach to Ace Ventura there's yeah. jokes all the way through but they know when when to play it straight as for well. the actual story part to yeah, keep you interested move. yeah so that but that's like this actually did like there is a story involved in this movie where you're kind of like <laughs> oh interesting yeah what happened to her <laughs> yeah it still knows it's a movie like you still need to keep the audience interested it's all, gags are all good and well but it's not like it's still a an action movie too I am slightly disappointed though in one aspect because he went the, he does go a Mel Brooks route um, a la yeah. History of the World Part 1 yeah I know the type you're talking about and that pissed me off mm. because I remember when me and you were walking home and you told me no it isn't part of it yeah. a sequel yeah. and stuff yeah. like it's only the one I was but isn't that such a good thing? As no, I was so desperate. You're so desperate to see more of it. It's. D- Hello. We Hi. now have pizza. Ah, oh, dumb. Oh, all right. And um, so you were you were saying? I don't so, know. So with the with this film, like it 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 brilliant because like and I I. I appreciate it a lot more as well mm. is it's done clean yeah like there's no no kind of language at all in it no so in fairness can, yeah you can show this to all ages yeah it, it didn't all look ages will enjoy yeah like there is like okay granted there is a few things that are like adult like adult jokes uh, tree bulbs comes to mind there but like even still but like even like if you're watching that with a kid like they're not going to really care about that I think they are it's like they're going to be more taken with everything else that's going on yes there's 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 gags for them to enjoy instead yeah exactly yeah like the the dubs are done really well like that like even with like Master Pain like, yes <laughs> his dub is brilliant or Master Tang yeah it's like 
I am not strong enough. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are the odds? My favorite Twice. scene. My favorite scene in that is when like they she they do the dramatic like oh my god you're dead. <laughs> Uh, and then, like, you go back to him and like, why did you think I was dead just because I made that sh- noise? Yeah, why did you pull the sheet over my Because it's true, because everyone makes that noise. And everyone knows, oh, they're dead. It's a, it's a, it's the it just taking the piss out of that really cheap, like, yeah. way of, of, of movie speak. You know, the everyone death, just plays a trick. Yeah, the, the death, death noise. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, it's, that's that's really because, again, that, that, that those are people who have, obviously, who will work on movies themselves and find that point annoying themselves. So, that, yeah, let's rip the piss out of that. Let's get rid of that fucking cheap trick. Exactly. You know, and it's great. It's, uh, again, it, it's one of those films, like, it's done so well that, like, the, you were left wanting an actual more. sequel. Yeah. I wanted a sequel. I want more. And to be honest, like, I think it's brilliant that it's not because... Oh, t- same, like, yeah. You don't want to dilute it. I'm half you, and half on that one. If you delved into it more, it would have been like, all oh, right, now... Well, well it, would, it would have been more of the same, which yeah. is grand. Like, people would have wanted more of the same. But as I said, like, what other jokes could you make in that in that context? You have to go a different route with it. I'd love to see him take on like a, a western type samurai. Seven this, samurai. Actually, this is the point I was gonna say. Like, it, it, like switch up the genre. Like, maybe have the same chosen one, but now he's in somehow sometime in a really generic western. Like he's reincarnated or something. Yeah, like exactly. Or he finds himself in a sci-fi setting. Something like like change the genre, but do the same thing. Find him in a red shirt, yet yeah, he manages to survive. I that's fa- that's interesting. Because I'm trying to think, like, what what movie could he be able to pull that off in? Well, um, any of the original Star Treks with William Shatner. That's true, yeah. Just have him replace Shatner. I know, have him replace McCoy. Because oh, McCoy good. is the only retro I can think of that actually survives. No, retro was... Uh, McCoy was the doctor. Was he not... Uh, all of a sudden... Re- always, I, who was the one in the red shirt? Uh, you're probably thinking of Scotty. Scotty was the engineer. Yes. Oh, yeah. Probably, he, was yeah. A, he was in red. Yeah. So, yeah, he could replace Scotty. Yeah, that makes sense. But if he was in Western, he would have, like, if you had, like, the good, the bad, the ugly, he'd replace, like, fucking... He'd, it'd be funny if you re- replaced Eastwood, but he didn't have the same charm and poise. Have him as a background character. Yes! Just have him as a legit background character in any movie. And, like, he's the one that accidentally does something, and that the hero stumbles upon it, and that's, like... It that's works. that's a good way of doing it. Yeah, yeah that's a good way of doing it. It is good. Like, I highly recommend, actually, mm. to watch, anyway. Oh, that thing is, like, I think by Iron Man, like, it's up there with Boondocks, for the, the next movie we've watched as part of the series. It's it's between those two. It's just in the good. No, I'm not even gonna do it. It's in the good pile. It isn't. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And like I said, there's a very sizable bad pile. <laughs> like, like, like I know, it's, I said it is the fact that like it's what Hulk Hogan is hot dogging in. Yeah, the fact that it, it's it's dull really well. Like, yes. Even though it's taking the piss out of itself, but like. But the production is there. It, the there's dub, no cheap effects. Like it's the done dub right. Is done really well in the fact that they even dub it over themselves. Yeah. Like the English dub is done over again mm. because to, to keep it in tune. To keep it in tune. Yeah. Because no, but I mean like Odekirk, like he's not speaking what he's saying. Mm. He's yeah. actually dubbing over himself. And the certain lines, you know, he's not saying that, but he's yeah. like, "Ow." Because it, it's watch, the, yeah. They have they have a feature on the DVD where it's like. They're actually showing you what they're really saying. <laughs> oh, sh- That's good. And it is brilliant. Yeah. Do you have this on DVD? I don't. I, I might. I might. I'm not going to say I do, but I might have it buried somewhere in the house. Yeah. If I do, I will. I will. Yeah, sh- I want to sh- watch that to special you. feature. <laughs> That's a great thing to watch. Like, if you want a great extra laugh. Yes. That's a good show. But yeah. another, like, as I said, rapid fire, but the one the early parts of the film. It's just a simple thing. It's just a random stranger. It's like, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> like, that was quite good when, when you hit that man there, Mr. Payne. <laughs> it's like, yes. <laughs> call me. Yeah. Call me Betty. That's fuck. That's what it was, Betty. I was yeah. like, what the hell was his name? Yeah. His name is Betty. Oh, Black Betty. <laughs> Black Betty with me. <laughs> we <laughs> called that as well. Yeah. We're like, it's going to play back there, aren't they? Yeah. Hit and they it. did. And it was brilliant, and it was worth it. And I was so happy. Mm. I was like one of the times when I was like, okay, my life choices have actually paid off because yeah. it's brought me to this point. <laughs> you were able to see a fighting cow. And we all can all remember the fighting cow. That is, that's, uh, that's actually one of the things where I'm just like, I love cows. I really do. I adore cows. Especially, was, especially the uh, Dalmatian cows. Yeah, Dalmatian cows. Should call Frisians. Dalmatian cows. Frisians. Moo. 
And um, do you know what was actually really funny? It was like after we had watched it, Sarah, Damien's girlfriend, had sent me a picture of a cow that was like in the field at the back of her house. And she goes, look at this fucking creep just staring at me. It was a Dalmatian cow. I was like, oh my God, it knows. I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're at now at this point. But yeah, I highly recommend it. Yes, I think definitely. it's one of those movies where you're just like, you can actually go back to it again. Like you can, can, you can watch it over and over and not get sick of it. Mm. It's one of those movies where you can either watch it by yourself and like enjoy everything yourself, or just like, you have a few beers while watching it and and really switch the brain off, like and just enjoy everything about it. It's definitely one of those movies for me. It doesn't have to be watched in a group to get an enjoyment out. But no. no, that's the thing. It like, works like, on its own. An awful lot of the videos are the movies that we're probably going to be watching. They are ones where you kind of have to watch with a group to enjoy it, mm. Mm. or well, just like watch with a group to like question your sanity. Yes, a support crew. Yeah. Like I don't know if it's considered support when the member of the crew makes you watch it. No holds barred. Jaws 4. At least with Jaws 4 we all got drunk. I was drunk for No Holds Barred. And it didn't help? It didn't. But the point was made. Was we were drunk. <laughs> yeah, but I would turn into an angry drunk for No Holds Barred. I mean, I, I don't blame you in that regard. At least you were in you were in happier times with Kung Pao. That's the main thing. Exactly. And that's what matters. Off, we started off on that and that... That kind of, what, set the tone? Yes. So, <laughs> it was all downhill from I there. Know, true, yeah, we should have never have started on Kung Pao. Yes. We should have gotten the bad one out. Yeah, we yes. should have started on No Holds Barred. That's it. That, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lesson for uh, for future uh, watch-alongs. <laughs> get the, yeah, get the chat actually, out of the way first. Yeah, because we're actually going to be doing two after this. Yes. And so. I'm trying to consider which one I should make them watch first. Mm. It's all part of the conundrum. Yeah, God help us. Actually, I think I might go with... Tom so, yeah, do you, want to, do you want to call it a shot now? Considering like this, this will be up like before the next few come out. So, no. do you want to give the people a well, preview of what we'll be doing next? So the next one we're going to be doing is um, a classic nineteen eighties um, B horror movie, which is also a tint of sci fi and comedy, um, which stars um, beloved eighties character actor Tom Atkins. Mm. And we're going to be doing Night of the Creeps. Excuse me. I really like this movie. Mm. I think it's a proper, it's a, it's a decent, stupid, kind of shut your mind off, yeah. like, teen. I say, it's, it's, it's one of those, like, it, it sounds like a very quintessential B movie. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a B in all fucking departments. You this know? is like, so this is a horror movie where the, the, mon the movie monster is aliens. Yeah. That can be killed with fire. Nice. There will be a blowtorch. <laughs> that's all we need yeah that's all we need and it has Tom Atkins Tom Atkins is an excellent doctor trust me you'll know him when you see him I will, I, I'll, I'll pick him out probably you'll yeah. know him when you see him but yeah um, so I think that was actually an alright one for our first review yeah I'm two and draws with pizza I think, I think you manage it quite well between the pizza and the review you yeah. have a nice balance there I don't think Foxy's I do, kind of like waiting playing the long game he doesn't want to be seen eating on camera Foxy waited whereas I'm like do you know what this no. is what people get movies out oh my god it is another slice <gasps> how did you not know it was too it's because the way they, I'd already counted how many I'd had. Yeah. So it was as if they hadn't cut a piece of pizza. So you got, you got a bonus slice. Mm -hmm. There you go. Pay for quality, lads. So, with that in mind then, um, so tune in next time, whenever that may be, for uh, Night of the Creeps. Again, we probably will be doing this format where we'll just give you the film review. The, I, I think that's probably, probably the way we're going with it. It'll be a longer one considering that we'll just have watched the movie. Exactly, yeah. We'll have, so, we, you'll kind of, we'll cut to you. It'll be fresh in our end. Yeah. Fine. And we've done the credits, so. Um, you're on pizza duty while I do the outro? Oh, they put a pepper on that piece. I'll do the outro. Yeah. So, uh, folks, thank you for watching Weekend and Amy's and hopefully you should uh, check out Kung Pao because it is very good shit as we are all nodding in agreement saying that it's very good shit. Just like this pizza is good shit. Indeed it is. Um, we're not sponsored though, but please get in touch. Um, either way, we <laughs> either way, I couldn't possibly tell who that is. There's no way of knowing. Ding There's dong. Don't literally pizza. no way. Do you remember that fucking way. Domino's pizza ad? But after Ding the Simpsons, dong. every single time. Domino's pizza. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Every single time for five years. God bless those Domino's angels. Either way, um, we'll see you next time for our next movie watch along slash review, whenever that may be. Night the Creeps. Indeed, it will be. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best way. Uh-huh. Uh -huh.